Okay, I'm gonna talk to my man again. You tell him, girl. So we have gained the mages. Excellent. They should be able to seal the breach. You are certain you experienced time travel. Could it have been an illusion? A trick of the Fade? I've been to the Fade before. I'd know it. Point taken. What an amazing... <laughs> Point taken. It is vital the Inquisition succeed to avoid the future you witness. Most people have trouble wrapping their heads around the idea. I'm not most people. I appreciate you talking with me about it. And not being most people. If you wish me to speak of Elysian fashion, I may be at a loss. Magical surprises I can handle. Speaking of which, you should ready yourself. For? This elder one. You have now interfered with his plans twice. Once at the Temple of Sacred Ashes, and now again at Redcliffe. A being who aspires to godhood is unlikely to ignore such an affront. Dorian, what's up? The Inquisition supports free mages. What's next? Elves running Halamshiral? Cows milking farmers? Give me time. I'm sure I'll surprise you. I suspect that's untrue. Yes, you strip yourself naked and allow the Chantry to flog you into repentance. That would surprise me. I do wonder if you've considered what this support of yours will do. For majors in general, I mean. The Inquisition is seen as an authority. You've given southern majors license to, well, be like majors back home. So what? They all turn into blood mages, worship dragons, and then take over? Not at first. But you'd be a fool not to see where this could lead. Thing is, the Imperium was once just like the Sun. Templars, proper circles, all that rot. Then it changed, by inches. Not that this is reason to oppress us. Still, my homeland should be a cautionary tale, not a source of inspiration. It occurs to me that I barely know anything about you. Beyond my being a mage from Tevinti, you mean? Beyond that, yes. And beyond my being so charming and well-dressed, <laughs> which is obvious to anyone. You certainly think highly of yourself. It's true. I could be more modest, but I'd be lying. Now, what was I talking about? Ah, yes, me. <laughs> I am the scion of House Parvis, a product of generations of careful breeding and the repository of its hopes and dreams. Naturally, I despised it all. The lies, the scheming, the illusions of supremacy. That's Tevinter in a nutshell, isn't it? Needless to say, my family was not happy with my choices. What did you mean by generations of careful breeding? They refine traits, weed out the undesirable, and promote the rest. My mother was chosen for my father because magic runs strongly in her blood. Never mind that they loathed each other. They wanted a son who could become Archon to make House Parvis the envy of the Imperium. There's two 26s. A cautionary tale that you should be careful what you wish for. Why would your family be upset with your choices? Because I rejected their idyllic plan. If they had their way, by now I'd be married to some unlucky girl from a powerful family. We'd live in luxurious despair, despising each other as I waited to take my father's place in the Magisterium. I declined the honor, and thus it's best I'm far from home. Less of an embarrassment that way, you see. I'm getting the impression that you don't care much for your homeland. On the contrary. I care for my homeland a great deal. There's so much potential. Sadly, we squander it. We refuse to acknowledge how far we've fallen because pretending is easier. We pretend the Canari can be beaten. We pretend that we're superior to everyone, even our own people. No, 
not everyone feels that way. I don't. Sadly, we're the minority. It just seems... So much of what you say about the Imperium is entirely negative. It might sound that way. For all our faults, my people have many virtues. We are laden with history and culture. Tevinta is where Thedas truly began, remember? We treasure our past and preserve it. You can walk down a side street and find nothing built during the modern ages. And despite appearances, we care deeply about everything. We have no reserve, not in war and not in love. If I truly believed my homeland was beyond all hope, I wouldn't miss it so much. I think I've heard enough. That's too bad. I never tire of talking about myself. <laughs> have you gone to see Alexius yet? He's in the cells. Not yet, no. I saw him before they locked him up. He looked despondent. Broken. Not the man I remember, nor the one I want to. I suppose the Inquisition will judge him eventually. I wonder if there's any chance they'll show him mercy. He hardly deserves it, but for Felix's sake. I can't help hoping there's something left of the man I once knew. Yeah, I like talking about myself. Well, like, I bet you do. You what? There we go. Talk about talking about himself. Well, that's mages all over. So many robes. I bet all of Ferelda's lost their curtains. I'll just be the other side of Hayden, just in case. Whatever. You gonna run away from me, you bitch? You expected something else? We needed this. We needed? No. Pretty sure that question was never passed my way. I mean, yay, freedom. Great for them. Over there. Away from me. Is the Inquisition what you thought it would be? Well, you're dragging people together, I suppose that's something. You're gonna need ah. trebuchets if you're going after the sky. Or, you know, ladders. There's a lot of summer stones. Tell me about yourself. What about me? I'm just interested in talking to an elf like me. I don't think so. Why not? Well, maybe you're alright. But most elves are too... Healthy. Like that Solus, right? Never be as good as we were. Well, who's we? I'm just fine. I think there's more to it than that. A few thousand years more. Hey, someone wants to be angry about old debts, be angry. Be a terror that never lets an enemy forget. But if you're digging it up so you can wear it, that's just weird. It's just the way for I mean, you Danish don't really know. You have stories, but that's all they are. It's all fancy dress. Not history. We'll talk later. If you say so. Something you want? I was wondering if you could look at some locks for me. What, the doors under the chantry? You know about them. Places have doors. I just wasn't interested in poking through some sister's breaches. Whatever floats you. Consider them open, yeah? You let me know if you think. Oh, booga booga. Three. The mage look, look, rebellion the joins the Inquisition. I've got to admit that's a twist I didn't see coming. One thing you saw in the future worries me. I mean, it was all bad. But Red Lyrium and Ferelden infecting people and growing out of them, that's bad. Finding more of it really punches a hole in my Red Lyrium at the temple was a coincidence theory. How long does it take for Red Lyrium to grow? How fast can it spread? It took years to infect people in Kirkwall, but no one there was actually ingesting the stuff. This Elder One managed to take the worst thing I can think of and make it worse. That's an accomplishment. I'd like to keep hoping it's a coincidence, if you don't mind. I need to be able to sleep at night. Honestly, I, I think I'll give up sleeping for the foreseeable future. I've got people trying to find out where the red stuff came from. I think maybe we should make that a priority. 
But that's enough doom and gloom. You just won a big victory for the Inquisition. What are you going to do to celebrate? That's a good point. We should celebrate. A banquet. Something like a banquet. Word to Josephine, and I bet she could arrange anything. Things should be calm around here for at least the next hour. Take a moment to enjoy it. If the world's about to end, Shit. I'm sure the Fear. Seeker will let us know. <laughs> yeah, the Seeker will let us know, alright. Shit, bear! How dare you, bear! That show right in front of me. There, there. Oh, that's a guy you people. into the future. Ugh. Time to kill. Oops. If you're worried about magic, I can protect you. My blade pretty much protects me. Perhaps I can do things your blade can't. I don't know. Yeah. It has blood grooves. Well, technically, it's the fuller, but blood grooves sound so much more violent. Anyway, I hope our new friends have what it takes to close the breach. Damn thing gives me a headache just yeah, looking at you. Yeah, throw my knives at you. What's going on? Yeah, so, buddy. how did you get the name Iron Bull? I picked it. We don't have names under the queue. Just, I don't know. Job descriptions, I guess. When I came to LA, I chose the Iron Bull for myself. I burned it. But why specifically Iron Bull? This may surprise you, but I really like hitting things. <laughs> also, it's the Iron Bull, technically. I like having an article at the front. It makes it sound like I'm not even a person, just a mindless weapon. An nice implement of destruction. River. That really works for me. I'd like to know more about your work with the Ben Hasrath. Ben Hasrath is actually a general term. You've got the secret police who investigate problems inside our territory. You've got the re-educators who take people with problems and fix their minds. Or make them disappear. And then you've got the spies. How did the re-educators work? That sure enough. Wasn't my area. That said, keep a man awake long enough. Ask the right questions, give the right potions, and you can get him to say anything. You don't need blood magic or demons to change someone's mind. We're a lot more fragile than we'd like to believe. None of those sound exactly like you. Yeah, I was... Oh, afraid. shit, you son of a bitch, you scared me. They sent me to Saharan because they needed someone who could fight and hunt down problems. That whole island was a sack of cats. Incursions from Tevinta, Talvashath, and native rebels fighting both sides. And in the middle, me, trying to wrangle the rebels and restore order. How'd that work out for you? About as well as you'd expect. I hunted down a lot of rebels, lost a lot of friends to the Vince, or the Fog Warriors, or the Talvashoth. One day I woke up and couldn't think of a damned reason to keep doing my job. I turned myself into the re-educators. Not many people would have the courage to do that. I thought about letting some rebel kill me, but I couldn't give any of those bastards the satisfaction. The Ben Hasrath ordered me to go to Orle, ostensibly as a Talvashan, and work undercover. That's how I ended up here. That's, uh... Damn. You did ask. <laughs> anyway, nice talking with you. They're like, damn. <laughs> Travel safely. There was never going to be an easy answer to the mage dilemma. What you did for the mages took courage. You gave them a chance. Holy if shit, one bear. Deserves one, I have to ask. Great. What was I like in that dark future you saw? You were furious about the circumstances. Angry. Good. I'm glad I was angry. It means I never stopped caring. What 
What do you think of the Inquisition? I expected more. More men. Better equipment. You may have Andraste's favor, but wars are won by men. Soldiers. Brute force is not always the answer. There are plenty of other paths to victory. <laughs> True enough. Still, it never hurts to be prepared. One thing I will say about your men. They're passionate. Devoted. You inspire them. Build on that foundation. And you will have an army that makes nations tremble. You must have some feelings about our friends. Madame Vivian only allied with the Inquisition because she knows it will bring her power. The most poisonous snakes are often the most beautiful. Damn. What do you think of the Inquisition's cause? Restoring order is a goal I support wholeheartedly. But that's not the end of it, is it? Not by a half. The Lady Seeker believes we are restoring the Chantry. Others say it needs reform. I don't know where you stand on the matter, and I'll admit I haven't made up my mind either. What do you think of Haven? What the fuck is far the bitch that we need? Refuge. It's the state of the world though, isn't it? Holy ground. Oh shit, what a bear doing here? Pity about that it's too. Rina. Would have been nice to see him. What do you think of my advisors? Liliana seems... Nice. Yeah, just put it. But mostly nice. <laughs> like his dad. Does Liliana frighten you? Has she said anything to you? No, she hasn't said anything. I'd just rather not offend her. I don't want to wake up with a blade in my I'm kidneys sparring, if I can help it. Another fucking bear. Why? We should return to our duties. As you wish. You are, after all, in charge. My bad, I didn't mean to talk. Right now. Perhaps in a bit. Oh, yeah, I don't know if it's gonna be hard to talk to Cassandra or not. And what are we supposed to do exactly? What you always do complain. We've already spoken with Commander Cullen. No one listens. We want better quarters. We want the Templars kept at a distance. And some respect for... This is not the Circle. You mages are our allies, not our wards. Act like it. How are we supposed to... Deal. With. It. <laughs> oh, she told your ass. It never ends, evidently. You don't need to tell me that. I just don't know who told them I'm the one to yell at. Is it that bad? The mages are here as equals. They need to get used to what that means. It is your doing, after all. You created oh, this alliance. Go. Well, I hope it works. What other choice do we have? Oh, I do sound like I'm blaming you, don't I? I don't disapprove. In fact, you did well. You made a decision when it needed to be made. Okay, and here we are. Time to I wish more. I could say this was my doing. We wouldn't be here at all if you hadn't stood up against the Chantry. You're being kind. You're discounting your role in this. Let's close the breach. Then we can say how successful I was. <laughs> okay. <laughs> how awkward she is. Greeting. May I ask you about the Chantry? It is difficult to say what becomes of the Chantry now. They have no Templars, no leadership, and no one left who is worthy of succeeding the Divine. It has fallen apart when everyone needs it the most. I ache to think what this will mean in the days to come. 
What influence does Chancellor Roderick really wield? He's a bureaucrat, responsible for communicating the Divine's will to the rest of the Chantry. Therefore, he's accustomed to the clerics hanging on his every word, hoping his influence will benefit them. Despite that, Roderick is not a bad man. He's frightened, and believes his place is to fill the gap left by Most Holy's death. Some might agree. As far down the chain of command as he is, there is no one left above him. How big a problem could he be? No more than he is already. He sent his message to the College of Clerics. That is the only card he had to play. Dealing with him further only lends him credibility he doesn't deserve. Thank you. The mages are ready to approach the breach. I pray this will be enough to close it. You weren't happy with how I brought in the mages. Do you have a problem with me as well? Of course not. I have no intention of endangering your alliance, but I must ensure the safety of those here. That concern extends to the mages. They are putting themselves at risk for the Inquisition, as are you. Any precautions taken are meant to aid you, nothing more. I hope you will accept them as such. Is there anything I should know? I'm glad to have the charges on our side. Fool's men are professionals, despite evidence to the contrary. What do you think of the people you work with? What do you mean? What do you think of our ambassador? We have little in common. How she delights in meeting with nobles all day is beyond me. But I enjoy working with her. How do you like working with Leliana? The position did not exist with her. I may not always agree with her methods, but she's more passionate about our cause than anyone. Cassandra may have declared the Inquisition publicly. Liliana is just as responsible for his formation. Are you satisfied with the Inquisition's forces? Our numbers are small, but they suit our needs for the time being. Some Templars have joined us instead of following the Order. They've proven invaluable in training new recruits. I should let you get back to work. Hey, I think I talked to everybody, did I? This is mm, mm, e, oh, let's see if I can make anything. Tom's on. <laughs> Tom's on. Researcher Mene believes these notes could assist you. That bear over there. Um. Is anything, anything. Let's get that shiny color. Pointy, pointy. What will power? Have that. Let's see. One point of magic. Then we gotta get more. Um, oh, she looked up. So she's scared of magic. 
Oh, someone's always scared of magic. Ooh, scared of magic. Where's that? Everybody's scared of magic. Can't do nothing to it? Oh wait. Heck is this? Oh. Oh, can't do nothing to that. Good. Sure, you don't need all two more. I need two more real sparks. No, you don't. Sure, you need two more of nothing. I need two more of this. You need two more of nothing. Two more, more of this. Of nothing. Oh, That's God, it's already lagged page. right there. to a spiral to drop stuff. Thinking your big butt is true. You're not gonna drop anything, you son of a bitch. There are no spots, huh? Yes, it is. You like the shiny? Everybody likes the shiny. Yeah, you didn't like those masks on that, you did, you did, bitch. He showed me some tricks. Got a demon claw wound to stop festering faster than I'd ever seen. I've heard good things about the charges. Polite and respectful they are. Everyone's respectful around us. Never know when they might need their guts shoved back in. Like, oh, I'm throwing up. Yeah, burn! Burn, baby, burn! Spite is burned. Burn, baby, burn. You drop anything. She did it. Bride of the Maker. It's raining in the cave. It's raining, man. Hallelujah, it's oh, raining, man. The ceiling. Waterfall in the cave. Where's that? It went, they were appearing like no tomorrow. These gel cells are not that bad. They don't look all dirty and nasty looking. They look like they've been cleaned. You gonna die, spider. You gonna die. You gonna die. 
Cause you're not around, you're not baby. Well, they dropped something. This stupid spider. Look, how dare someone shut the door on me? Oh gosh, shut up about that one piece. Oh, was there an extra bed they just put up on there? All these chantry people. 